Hi guys, welcome back. Um, so I, I think you probably already are familiar with derived. So what it does is here it, you know, multiplies count with two and we are outputting it here. So it works. Now it's a very simple calculation. Um, but what if you have complicated calculations in derived? Uh, people prefer to use effect so document suggests not to use effect wherever possible um, you should be using something called derived by now imagine this use case where you have a cart this is an array and let's say um, the item is apples and the quantity is maybe Three, and I'll have another one, maybe oranges, with a quantity of uh, five. Now here, I just want to calculate the total number of items in the cart, so which is three plus five. What I can do is I can do derived by, and it's a it's a function. Now here, I can do uh, car dot. This is a reduce function where you can find you, you can you know have a accumulator is an individual item. So accumulator plus item quantity. Also, you would need an initial value which is usually zero. Uh, now that would be it. I think here I'll call this total items or something. I may have to return as well. Uh, I can print this out here and I think I should get eight. Yeah, I'm getting it. Now for this case, I did not really need uh, derived by because you can actually do this with uh, without you know, having derived by, I you, you still get it right. So it's it's quite easy. Uh, you could have put that in one single line, but imagine you have like you know multiple lines of calculation. It depends on something else as well. In those cases, you know you might want to use derived by. Right. Thanks, guys. Bye.